All right, fig lovers, this is Ross the Fig Boss. In today's video, we're gonna talk about winter protection for fig trees. We're gonna talk about what it is that you do with your fig tree come winter time. Um, we're gonna talk about obviously the container figs that you see here behind me. We're gonna talk about the in-ground figs. And I'm gonna give you guys in this video the quick and simple explanation as fast as I can and as much information as I can so that you guys can make the best decisions possible for your fig tree. Now, if we don't protect them, we don't overwinter them properly, we may not have a harvest next year. In fact, if you're in zone seven, six, five, or four, there's a chance if you don't overwinter it properly, you could actually lose or kill your fig tree as well. So this is critical. This is a really important piece of information that is gonna affect your harvest next year and really your fig growing going forward. So first and foremost, container figs, they need to be moved away from temperatures below 15 degrees Fahrenheit. If we don't take these container figs out of that 15 degree low, if it gets to about 10, the roots are gonna start taking damage. If the roots take damage, well then the top is gonna to take damage. We're not gonna have a fig tree anymore. So it's really critical to move them somewhere. And this is what growers do. This is what enables us in really, really cold places like zone four and five, we have to grow them in containers. And the only way we do that is we actually move our figs every year in the fall or in the winter time, and we move them away into winter storage. Our storage environment that we choose is critical because we don't want our fig tree to wake up too soon. If our environment's too warm, they're gonna wake up and we're gonna be months away from our average last frost date, typically May or June. I've seen people have fig trees that wake up in like January and February, they're sending me emails and they're saying, Ross, my fig tree's awake and it's four months away from my average last frost, what do I do? So it's not, a, it's not a good thing. And that right there is a season ending mistake. We have to choose an environment that is gonna be above 15, like I mentioned, has to be above that low, but has to be below 50. It can't get above 50 for extended periods of time. Um, like I said, they're gonna wake up with that extra heat. That's what's controlling them to actually wake up. The other part of this that I see a lot with people is they actually put them away too soon. I wait here in the Philadelphia area, zone 7A, till about Thanksgiving. Um, I even waited all the way till Christmas. Somewhere in between there, I move all the potted figs away for good. And this is a critical uh, part as well because if we put them away too soon and they're not properly dormant, there is a higher chance they're gonna wake up too early months before our average last frost. Again, season ending mistake. So the in-ground fig trees, the most important piece of information that you guys need to know is how hardy exactly your fig tree is. A lot of fig trees will survive about 15 or 10 degrees Fahrenheit. The wood is much hardier than the roots. The container figs we talked about, they need to be above 15 because the roots are more susceptible to that cold damage than the branches are. However, depends on the variety that you have. Some can actually go all the way down to zero degrees Fahrenheit but those are very few and far between. They are the hardiest of fig varieties in existence. There's much more of them that can survive five degrees Fahrenheit. And if you're gonna wrap them or protect them in the wintertime, the wrapping is not gonna give you a ton of extra temperatures, but that extra little boost of five degree difference from zero degrees to five degrees will make the difference as to whether or not your fig tree can survive the winter time. So things like wrapping are really uh, something that I recommend. Get all the branches really close together, tie them up, wrap them with insulative materials and throw a tarp over top. Insulate that the best you can and definitely insulate the ground as well. Make sure there's no air getting in and there's no air getting out. So that's basically uh, wrapping there in 101. Also, the next thing you can do is you can take a branch like this and we can bend it all the way to the ground and lower this with stakes, with uh, garden staples, and then cover that with insulative materials. In the past, this Rondé Bordeaux fig tree here, I've bent over a bunch of branches, covered them with just blankets, and they got through the wintertime. Use housing insulation, use concrete blankets, use um, you know, any insulative material you can think of. Mulch, uh, wood chips are great, by the way. I do that every year by bending over my branches and covering them with wood chips. The other nice thing you can do is use leaves. And these are great for young fig trees. When they are small and they're still not that tall, we just planted them, let's say this past spring, get yourself chicken wire and put a ring around your fig tree. Get stakes and stake the chicken wire so it's upright. 
and you're creating a pen for your fig tree, fill in that pen and fill it in with leaves. If the higher we go, the better off you are. We want to protect every part of our fig tree. And that's going to, of course, insulate our figs as well and give them an extra five degree boost of temperature that we need. So there is the information there, guys. I hope you enjoyed this one. Please hit the subscribe button, hit the like button. And if you want more information on winter protection, check out my blog, figboss.com. There's so much other fig-related information there. We'll see you guys for the next video. Take care.